strawberry kale. Interesting. Just been over to pink berry. <laughs> Possibly not the smoothest way to start the vlog, but it's day one of my seven day adventure here in San Diego for the San Diego Comic Con um, at the convention center here in the city. Uh, hopefully you've been watching the uh, vlogs leading up to this, the kind of like intermittent ones that I've been posting. However, now it's time to get into it. We're talking seven days um, where I'll be talking about what I've seen and also just having a look around San Diego as a city. It's a fantastic place to come and visit. And not only that, but um, one thing that's uh, certainly starting to uh, crop up as well is all the bits and pieces that are happening um, off site. I really should walk this way too. I'm going to walk this way for a second. Tomorrow I'm going to do a kind of walk around vlog to give you an idea of the lay of the land, especially if you're uh, coming from the UK and you've never been before. So I'm going to kind of do a kind of lay of the land so you can see what uh, the general idea of where things are. Give you an idea of where I am at the moment. Uh, for example, this is the Hilton gas lamp. So let's uh, let's take it uh, slower a bit. So there you go, Hilton gas lamp. And uh, if I follow this round, so you've got the Omni there. And then of course across the tracks you have the immense convention center, which leads all the way down Harbour Drive. Now, um, you've also got, uh, if you could just see over there in the horizon, the uh, Hilton. Yeah, that's the Bayfront. Now, that hasn't had the, uh, the banner put up on the windows yet, but that usually happens on the Wednesday, so it's a nice reveal for everyone coming into San Diego. Um, I've got my shake from Pinkberry, but I've also got um, a bag. Uh, the reason for that being, I have just been to um, pick up my staff pass because I'm going to be working as staff this year in the how-to section. I did actually try getting inside the uh, ex exhibit hall, but you do actually need to be uh, an exhibitor and have a, a setup badge. Um, but San Diego is getting itself ready for the big nerd party of the year. Uh, for example, if I uh, just walk over here, outside the uh, Hilton gas lamp and across the uh, the parkway you have what's getting set up at the moment this is the Ender's Game experience which will be open throughout the course of the con I believe it's a ticketed affair but um, you have to kind of uh, make some follow some t special tweet no doubt Obviously this is going to be a little bit of a, a vague one. I know that so this is day one and I really should be a little bit more um, on point about what I'm going to talk about. But to be honest, it is more a case of everything just getting settled and everything just getting everybody into town. One or two of the Brits are here already, as I've, uh, I've discovered. So they're all kind of, the, the, everyone's starting to gather. Okay, so let me talk about what I have been um, getting hold of. Um, like I say, I'm going to be working as staff. I'm going to be in the um, room two, uh, which is upstairs as part of the artist alley. It's the how-to section, where there's going to be uh, panels on the professionals element of um, Comic-Con. So I've got myself my staff badge and my uh, little how-to sticker, which I'm going to sort out at some point. But I also received, um, I got the um, quick guide books and the exhibitors guide books. Now those two have been claimed by the missus and they're being poured over. I'm going to have a look at those tonight and uh, talk about the highlights which is in there, especially with the articles that are being written. Hopefully they'll be uh, seen uh, by a couple of the uh, people that post on the various uh, Facebook blogs. So hopefully there's some articles that have been written by the team. But We've also got the Comic-Con bag, which everyone's been uh, talking about. Something I have noticed about them is they're a lot smaller 
than uh, in previous years. But you get your uh, you get your cape inside. Oh, this is going to be really awkward. Uh, but you got uh, a cape which is detachable. So you've uh, but this particular one, all the bags that have been revealed on the uh, WB site have been um, the film ones, uh, Supernatural. Uh, I was actually offered one of two, so Supernatural one was one of them, but also you had the other bags, the Arrow bag, um, you had Teen Titans Go, you had a whole host, which no doubt you've seen on the uh, WB site or on the various blogs. But this one is very interesting to me because uh, WB have recently just uh, cancelled their, uh, um, or walked away from their agreement with um, Legendary Pictures. Legendary pictures are behind Godzilla and it's a Godzilla bag which I decided to go for which is rather pleasant mm. so um, I've got myself a Godzilla cape and by the looks of things as well because um, I'm uh, volunteering as well it looks like I might be able to get another bag as well but this is the one I picked up as, a, as, a, as uh, attending as staff so, everything's getting itself all um, set up, um, various um, developments around town. Um, we've just discovered as well that the uh, Godzilla experience is ticket only. So we're curious as to how that's going to uh, pan out. I'm going to pause this for a second, I'm going to have another wander around, uh, see what else I can find in town and we'll pick up in a second and we'll see what's happening around San Diego. Legendary Hall H. It's not going to be this quiet in a couple of days' time. Obviously, the tents haven't gone up. They go up on Tuesday, unprepared for Wednesday. With all the signage starting to go up. Still waiting to see what's going to be on the side of that building this year, though. What's going up over there? Hmm. Here we are outside the Hilton Bayfront. Where all the stars will be gathering. Nothing on the grass yet. Now, obviously, this is going to be something that uh, people are very curious as to what's happening. Because, of course, WB won't be holding an event on here, but something is obviously gathering. The tents are going up. And not only that, but it looks like the tents are going further down the bayfront than in previous years. No boat yet. Or no pirate ship. However, we have seen that um, further up um, as we were coming into town, but that hasn't arrived yet. So it's going to be coming down into uh, into this particular bay a little bit later on in the week. This is going to be a hive of activity, but not just yet. Now, from the grass behind. Paul H and the exhibition floor leads us all the way across the bridge that takes us over up drive. Petco Park of course, which is where Nerd HQ and the Walking Dead Escape event will be held. But there's also going to be one or two bits and pieces. <laughs> you can tell that I've been walking a while. Ooh, out of breath already. You do keep forgetting how big this whole event takes over and how big the city actually is. This is actually a very good view of the exhibition centre. The Helix sign for the new Ronald E. Moore show is coming out next year. 
that is going to be having a panel at me. Um, at Comic Con. And as you cross the bridge, you come to the Petco car park where they're currently setting up as well. Not entirely sure what's happening over here, but it is a large space for things to take place. It's like Hello Kitty's having a bit of a represent. Should be interesting. Everything in full build mode. It's still two days out, so everything showed up. Now I've come down the left hand side of Petco Park and at the back of Petco is a green. There we go. Yeah. While I, uh, with the traffic. At the back of Petco Park, this is where MTV are going to be hosting their official party. Now it was VH1 Classic last year that hosted uh, a party and um, it's where they had a whole bunch of uh, live acts happening. But this happens behind Petco Park. And that apparently is going to be happening on Thursday night. Uh, sorry, Wednesday night. Wednesday? Thursday night. Sorry. The first actual night of Comic Con. It's actually quite a. Uh, you can't see from uh, this uh, stage, but the uh, around the back of the to the left, it's actually quite a large green area. However, if we go further up. This is uh, an example of how Comic Con takes over the entire city. Now, on Saturday, um, Comic Con will be hosting a panel for the legendary pictures, film for 2014 Godzilla, directed by Brit Gareth Edwards. However, there's also going to be happening a Godzilla experience, which apparently all Comic Con badge holders can attend. You have to go to a, a page and uh, enter a code, which I'll link down below because I'm generous. So here we are on 7th in J, and it looks like. Godzilla has already arrived and done some damage. Proof if anyone needed that Comic Con has arrived in San Diego. Is this I don't have any questions, man. Uh, okay. So much for getting the information out of the staff. Obviously, this is all going to uh, be revealed in the next couple of days. It's everywhere you look as well. In all sorts of corners of the town. course the banners have started going up around town as well. But it isn't just Thor that's getting represented. It's Captain America too. Too. Just walking back to the condo now. I keep forgetting how big this city is. Whew. So there you have it, uh, San Diego is just starting to get itself together for Comic Con this year. I've had a wander around and you can tell that the excitement is starting to build very nicely for this year's Comic Con. 
I'm going to do tomorrow get up a little bit early so I'm not disturbing anybody and not getting in the way I'm going to have a, an actual wander around in terms of the lay of the land especially if you haven't been to Comic Con I'm going to start pretty much I'd say about a block out from Gas Lab and walk through Comic Con hopefully it'll take me about 15-20 minutes and give you an idea of the scale and where you need to be heading especially if you're wanting to go to the exhibition floor and if you're queuing up to get in to get your badge at sales and queuing up at Hall H. Hopefully you should have gotten, gotten a, a bit of a, an idea of that from this video but I wanted to just get a glimpse of um, the things that are getting set up around town. Also wanted to obviously go down and get my staff badge <laughs> so that's rather uh, cool um, but just to let you know that San Diego is getting ready and it's getting ready for you and hopefully we'll see you in a couple of days time um, yeah San Diego's getting ready <laughs>